just taking a look at my wall and I'm feeling really good about it today. You know what that means. It's time for the blasters that exceeded my expectations special. I've been nerfing for a really long time. I mean, I was three years old when I got my first blaster. And in this time span, I have seen the rise and the fall of nerf as a brand. I've also seen the great and the evil of this hobby. But every now and then, I will get a blaster that I have a set expectation for, and it just blows me away. It completely goes above and beyond what I expected out of it and earns its place up on my wall of greatness. Now this video isn't going to compile the best blasters in my collection, just the ones that exceeded my expectations when I had expectations for them. So let's get started with the first and most hilarious one. <laughs> this stupid shotgun right here has like the worst reception on the planet and I legitimately like it. Almost every review I saw said that this thing is going to break in 10 minutes or less and uh, mine still works. Perfectly. I use it as my regular secondary. I distinctly remember when I was coming home from the store with this thing, I was shaking. I was terrified that I wasn't even going to be able to use it because that was the reception I got from this thing. I was like, oh god, why did I buy this? And it ended up being like one of my favorite shotguns ever. It's super comfortable, it feels solid, the prime is super smooth, and the smart ARs are way more reliable than all the smart ARs on all my other smart AR blasters combined. They've never failed once once since the review. But I mean, we're just getting started. Obviously this isn't gonna work for everybody because I, I still get reports that these things break, but mine works and mine is just a wonderful blaster overall. And I, I should actually do another review on this just so I can clarify some things about it. But this is just the starting point. Things are just going to get more and more hilarious from here on out. Hey look, it's another Elite 2.0. <laughs> when the pictures of the Moto Blitz first came out, I was like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Are they serious? doing this they took a raven and they put whatever the heck this thing is on the no 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 no. this thing managed to excel so far above and beyond what everybody was expecting out of it that i'm pretty sure it gave somebody whiplash if being a confident raven reskin wasn't enough this thing is a master key shotgun that shoots six darts at the same time and uses an internal air tank which is it's something that we've seen since the icon mag strike and y'all are probably thinking, Oh, well, the last time there was a six-star Master Chief shotgun was a Hornet, and that thing barely shot 15 feet, so what are the odds it is when going to work? Um, with one screw being tightened down, which I did myself, you can pull that pump handle as many times as you want, and it will pretty much completely override the air restrictor until you reach a certain point where it physically can't take it anymore. At that point, hot glue exists. So yeah, the Moto Blitz came out, everybody laughed at it, and then everybody wanted to get one. And I managed to get one and some of my friends could not believe when I said it was good <laughs> Oh, but we're still just getting started. There's more blasters here. Oh No, the tight ZS50 is a bad minigun. What are we gonna do about our minigun product? <laughs> I knew this thing was gonna be good when I first saw it I figured it was going to be fun But I was not mentally prepared for just how good this thing was actually going to be when I got it It's it's so sick the ergonomics, the concept, the functionality, the usability, the whole design aspect of the rotating barrel, the pump handle being on the top, the slam fire, everything just meshes gloriously with this blaster. I mean, I did a review talking about this thing for probably a little bit longer than I should have, but I don't even care because I wanted to gush about this thing just because that's how amazing it is. I feel like I'm gonna faint from yelling so much. Oh my god. Oh no, did you hear that? It's the crushing sound of reality. <sighs> yes, this thing exceeded my expectations, and it's not even a good blaster. It's just mediocre. At least it's not bad. I was expecting it to be bad, and the fact that it isn't bad technically gives it a spot in this video. And you know what? That's just the sad truth about most things that Nerf is offering nowadays. I'm going into most of these blasters expecting them to just be useless trash, or the same thing that I got last year, but slightly worse in some way, shape, or form. Which is still the truth with this one, but it does still technically work, so it, it, it exceeded my expectations. I feel so bad for the Hasbro designers. They put so much time and effort into these blasters. They're clearly trying their hardest, but they just can't. 
I mean, if you actually take a look at the blaster, especially this part right here, how much time and effort do you think went into sculpting a realistic looking snake head to put on the front of this stupid Roblox sniper rifle? My guess is way more time than they were paid for. I was genuinely expecting this blaster to be cheap, unusable garbage that would just sit on the floor until I did something with it, but the ergonomics are sound, the trigger feels nice, the usage of the magazine is smooth, the prime is smooth, and it hits pretty hard, so it went way further above and beyond my expectations than I was expecting it to. And obviously, it's in this video. Uh, let's, I, I need a break from the disappointment. Let's go back to good things, shall we? Oh... That's so much more pleasant. Yeah, like the Zuru Crusher, I was expecting this thing to be good, but it just excelled my expectations, primarily with one thing, the smoothness and like effortless operation of using the magazines, sliding them into the back, having them click into place, emptying your mags with slam fire, and then dumping the magazines back out again and doing super fast, effortless reloads with minimal friction and minimal effort required. This is the funnest blaster in my collection to reload, seriously. I have never enjoyed doing reloads on anything except for this one. Uh, that's saying something. I don't like reloads. This blaster made me like doing reloads. That's a feat, if, if I do say so myself. Uh, but but that, that was just like the, the icing on the cake. We're up to the last blaster now. And, and, and this is where the scale starts to go up way further than my ceiling can go. Well, well, well. As if you haven't appeared in enough videos already. Yup, the Infinis is the last blaster. And now please don't click off this video. I know it's really annoying hearing me gush the same things about the Infinis over and over again, but I have some things to say this time. The reason I didn't buy this blaster in the first place was because gimmicks like this never work. Ever, 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 <laughs> ever. Uh, this one works. It works effectively. It works a lot better than I was expecting it to. And in fact, it works so good that I still rate this blaster as my favorite blaster. Yes, the Max Dictator is still not my favorite blaster. This one is still my favorite just because of how seamless the gimmick ties into the actual blaster's functionality. This thing completely obliterated my expectations when I got it on Christmas. And to this day, I still have a lot of fun using it. it, it, it God, it's fun. You shove an empty magazine in there, you 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 put the darts in the back and they go <laughs> and then you pull your magazine out and boom it's got darts in it now that's never happened before and when i actually got to try my hand at just how fun and enjoyable this blaster was to use in real life i i will never go back it is just it it's too cool but I definitely think that is a good place to cap off this video. This has been the blasters that exceeded my expectations special. And, and uh, that's all I have to say. Subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below. What's a blaster that you have that exceeded your expectations? And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.